the thing that we were going to look at are the two backs at Detroit and what makes some them so special and what they're doing. And after a while, I started looking at this offensive line and, and what they're doing. And I, I just think that's more interesting to me. These two backs are just clearly uh, playing at a just extremely high level. The offensive line, when they do it, they look like they're Rockettes. I mean, and I'm looking at this thing from a real technical standpoint, from offensive line play. These guys are just really, really impressive. They're very athletic. They cut the defense with these running backs. They'll cut the defense and build a wall and pull guys around and get a little crease, and then they just hit it. I'm getting kind of fired up now. I kind of want to coach you in. So let's go ahead and, and roll this thing here a little bit if we can. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so they expand. They come back in, just kind of messing with the run fits here a little bit. All right, so the, the first thing I always looked at as an old line coach is hat placement. All right, they on the outside, he's going to come down bluff and go back up into the secondary. Uh, right here on the edge, on, on the uh, left side here on that edge, the hat of the offensive lineman is right on the outside number. Hands are up inside on the breastplate. The feet are apart, all right? And you can see the hat placement of everybody in the offensive line. Hands are all inside. Once they make contact, toes are outside, knees are bent. The old duck walk thing. They are impeccable in their technique. All right, go ahead and you're running a little bit. So you got a little pull here. Go ahead and I'll stop it right there. So now stop right there. Now you got the double team on the side. Now what you teach the guys is there's a flyer over the top there. That's the guy they're going to double team there, that number eight or six. That's who they're working to. Now what you tell the guys, if they if that de defensive lineman chooses one of those blockers, the other guy comes off to him, right? If he doesn't, you stay on him and you walk him back and wash him back into that linebacker. Never give up on a split dever team. You stay with it until that guy, what they would say, choose. And the hat placement, that guy coming to uh, the first guy, the, the post guy is square, and the other guy is a, is a knockoff player there. The guard coming to him, you can see he's sideways. And he's taught to stick his face right in the armpit and try and knock him off the block and let that defensive lineman fight it and choose which one's going to end up. On the back side, you can see the guard there. His hat's inside. You can see the tackle turn and actually run it, get into that armpit. Go ahead, run it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. He's going to bury his head right there, just like on side. Now they're both involved in double teams. And you can't come off that because they're on a half a man. And the, and the linebackers haven't committed to line scrimmage. As soon as they do, he'll snap late. We say always snap late. Wait till you see his eyes right next to you before you snap to it. All right, go just a little bit further and further, further. Keep walking. See the, the tackle there. Sees him. He's hiding, but he's going to keep the push. Keep the push, keep the push, keep the push. Now on the backside, the lineman, uh, whoever this is on the backside, I can't see who it is. He didn't finish. He should be in a slide wall on the backside end there. But the back has got so much speed, but they just knock him off the ball here. It's just the thing that's impressive to me, everybody on that football team on offense, they engage and stay on blocks. They're so well-schooled with their footwork. Their hands are inside. They stay inside uh, in everything that they do. And the speed of those backs is – like the term somebody just said, lightning in a bottle, so to speak. Same thing. They're they're trying to store just a little bit with, you know, trying to get guys to move a little bit. All right, now. So now they're going to get into the perimeter with the speed that they have. Let's go back and take a look at it again. So they're going to cut the defense. But I want you to watch the right tackle here, all right? Watch what he does. Stop right there. He's going to pull all the way outside. The guard is going to reach that four eye there, whoever that is. That guard comes all the way. Now, the technique that you use, you drop, step, cross over, and then you come downhill at the outside number. Can we go back just a tick? But his footwork is just ridiculous. Drop step with the right foot, shoulder, stay square, and aim at that outside number. Get on it, get your hands inside, latch on, and get a push. And you can see stop right there. Look at the hat placement of all the offensive linemen right now. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's like the Rockettes. That's what you want. You know, it's perfect. I, ju I just, it's so much fun to watch them. They're so well-schooled in what they do. Go ahead. And then as we go watch the, the puller now, he's told right there, the term we should use is uh, blink in, blink out. So you blink in, you got color, you got him. You got him. And then the back's, back's got to beat somebody, right? This is, this is cool. Now, they got some flyers here. All right, just go just a little bit, and you can see it stop right there. Now, look at uh, 70, is it 70 or 70? Look at where his hat's going in the left tackle here. Watch where they're going. All right, 77 is going to bury his head. Get, go ahead, get going, get going, get going. <clears throat> bury it, bury it. Knock him off or try to take him over. If he doesn't, then push him off and snap up to that linebacker. 
And if he does, if he doesn't choose, just walk them off and and uh, move that whole pile. And when you go back and look at this one more time from the very beginning, they just sustain and stay on guys. They're very athletic. They use their hands up inside. The post guy is always going to end up square on contact. See how square he gets there on the right tackle? And then the drive guy comes back and hits him in the armpit. You got to feel it. You guys hang it back. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. And you don't fought, come off that until he fires his gun, right? Now, downfield, they do a great job of what we call convoy. They're all involved. The receivers are very active downfield blocking, which, of course, makes a huge difference. And, of course, both these backs can go the distance at any time. Technically, when you watch their offensive linemen, they are impeccable with their with their fundamentals. They have placement on the numbers, you know, coming, cleaning up the armpit, pushing up eyeball, linebacker, come through. They can reach a, a, a four eye as a guard and pin him, really. There, there's a couple more layer that's really cool where they – they have uh, like a they they pull the center around and they wall everybody. They jump turn and they teach that. We used to teach Chuck Knox taught me this. You get your hands up inside, you pull the breastplate and push like this, and you snap them. And you can see all six guys just go and get snapped. You know, it's just awesome. And I mean, they just they do <laughs> such a great job of coaching with them. These and they're athletic, and I can't wait to see them play again. 